We are talking about the Red Sea crossing and the creation story. The dividing of the sea and the drying up of the sea to clear dry ground. On Exodus 14, verse 16, and also verse 21 to 22 of Exodus 14. And also on verse Exodus 15, verse 8. Okay, certain echoes of some account of world's creation in the ancient worlds includes, including Israel. Creation occur as the as the laws split or cut into pieces the primal sea monster or dragon named Rahab or Leviathan. Alternatively, alternatively, the laws defeat the water, the Lord defeat the watery primal chaos by drying up the, the sea. Now, in this regard, Isaiah 51, verse 9 to 10, address the Lord. Was it not you who cut? Rahab in pieces, who pierced the dragon? Was it not you who dry up the sea, the waters of the great deep? In Psalm 74, verse 12 to 15, speak in a similar vein, a similar kind of talk, kind of way. He said, you divided the sea by your might. You broke the head, the heads of the dragons in the waters. You crushed the head of Leviathan, who dried up ever-flowing stream. These creation themes help to interpret the larger significance of Israel exodus out of Egypt as the deity defeat of the prime, primal force of evil and chaos in this world. So as you read and listen to Exodus, keep those verses in mind, okay? Keep the verses in mind because what the devil is what the king of this world, the lord of this world, and he will use every mean possible to keep you in bondage. But the Lord will and will divide the Red Sea, will crush the head of of, of the devil, the, the head of Rahab, the head of the dragon, the head of Leviathan. He will dry it up right so let the lord be with you let the lord watch over you let the lord guide you protect your home and your family share and follow this page let others know that jesus lives and so they could know about his goodness and his love for you that he went to war for you he crushed the head of Rahab for you so that one day you will know that he is king of kings and lord of lords shall like and may the peace of god be in your home in jesus name